continuous K-roll isn't really a K-roll. It's not rolling down your arm the same way a K-roll is. It's more a two-handed linear isolation where you're passing the hoop back and forth. So to start, uh, two key things to know. First, you want your arms to be straight as they possibly can through the entire move. Your arms are gonna wanna bend and I can pretty much promise that your elbows are going to bend and you're going to have to constantly keep reminding yourself, ah, oh, no, keep them straight, keep them straight. Otherwise, the illusion doesn't really work. Not as well, anyway. And the second thing is that our grip is different in this. We don't catch it like we would a normal K-roll between our thumb and our finger. We're catching it between our middle finger and our pointer finger like a peace sign. So it's a peace sign grip. Always remind yourself, peace sign. So what you do is you pass it to the other hand with this peace sign grip. You grab it in the bottom of the hoop, around the center, as far as your arm can, while it's extended, and then you isolate it, bring your hand to the top, and then just continue that. So when your hand, when your little peace sign grip gets to the top of the hoop, what's gonna happen is that your grip is gonna have twisted around a bit, so your middle finger will be on top of the hoop, and your pointer finger will be gripping the hoop like this. So you should be able to just hold it with your pointer finger just dangling here, and then your middle finger will just be placed on top of it. So that's what you want your grip to look like when it gets to the top of the hoop. And then you pass it off to the other hand with this peace sign grip, palm up, peace sign, <laughs> grip it lightly, and then you're gonna isolate it back up to the top. And once again, it's now dangling on my right hand's pointer finger. Grab it with the peace sign in my left hand. Oops, <laughs> this is hard to do slow. And that's just what you wanna do. So straight arms, passing it off to the other hand with this loose peace sign grip. And then you're just passing it back and forth. And you get that cool illusion when you have your arms straight. You can let it bounce into your chest a bit too to uh, add a little bit more drama and bounce to the move, but I have a mic on my chest right now, so I'm not doing that. So yeah, it goes a little something like that. Um, for troubleshooting, you should probably use a heavier hoop for this. A lot of people like to use the smaller uh, lightweight hoops for their isolations and off-body moves, but this is so light that I find it pretty difficult to use uh, for this move, especially when you're just beginning because it's going to wobble around a lot. So for this particular move, the heavier the hoop, the better. And sometimes heavier means bigger, so don't shy away from your larger hoop because you want a bit of weight to this. I would say watch yourself in a mirror because uh, if you're not getting it, one of the main reasons I often see is that you are bending your arm or like, you know, it's just not really working. You just look like you're sort of turning it in a circle. You want that back and forth motion and you really get that only from having super straight arms. Like, little alligator claws. So pass, 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 pass. So you see it's really more of a linear isolation than a K-roll. Okay, hoopers. So I hope this quick little tutorial on that move has been helpful for you. I think it's an awesome move that everyone should have in their hooping arsenal. Once you get the hang of it and start going really fast and start incorporating it in with other moves, it looks really cool. It's a good way to impress all your friends. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer you. Happy hooping. Hey guys, if you like my video, then be sure to subscribe. I try to come out with new videos every single week and I'm really passionate about making fun and funky moves accessible to beginners and working on fun new combos for intermediate and advanced hoopers as well.